So, what prices would you do for the metal storage? So, with the positive situation with the sulfur, sulfur's doing very nicely, isn't it? Look at it. Very, very nicely. Buy orders keep going up. It's a very nice position for it. So, what are we going to do? Are you going to follow suit and do the same thing? Here's the situation. These are the first two boxes for a set that's very likely going to keep getting more and more and more added to it. And we've compared this with the likes of Scientific Storage and Neon Storage. And we are aware that the first ones to come out for the set tend to be the most invested in and tend to be the most valuable. So, on the horizon, how many more can we expect? Oh, well, now we've got five. Five graffiti storages now available in the workshop. I would assume, I would guess, I would guesstimate that um, this would become very valuable later on, uh, four months' time down the line, when we probably have the full set out. What I'm saying is, go check scientific storages. That was probably the best thing to reference. As you can see here, the whole set, the more recent ones that came out, suffer because people weren't invested in them as much but the original ones to come out they held their value and they still stayed above their rust ore price even though we had a market dip just now they still held their value to a point because people were more invested in them they were first ones to come out and they kept getting more and more invested in as time went on because we kept getting more and more added and of course same situation happening all over again with the graffiti set these are the very, the very first two. Now, you might sit there and say, is it oversaturated? But I can't really compare it. There's only two. <laughs> the, well, here you go. Does it, does it soothe your soul if I point out that we've got less sales here compared to the sulfur storage? Especially when we did the rust, uh, when we did the abnormal biholders last week. There's a lot less sales compared to uh, what where we were last week with this one, right? Twenty thousand sales seems to be totally fine. We might see some people buying in excess, true, but we're not seeing it with um, sulfur. In fact, sulfur just keep, just keeps flourishing more and more. So yeah, uh, what price would you put? I'm probably going to go and do a dollar thirty and maybe maybe two dollars, dollar thirty and two dollars. I feel like that's perfectly fine. I'm invested in it. I feel like it's got a very good future ahead of it, even though it might be a better off as a long-term investment. It's fine. It's fine. Neon was, and Neon's still doing great. Ten k versus thirty k. Well, actually, Comish, don't care too much about the amount that sold with Scientific. Scientific, as a whole, on average, sold maybe on average around ten, eleven thousand. But when you see the likes of this, people are more, people like this set more. Do you get me? People like Neon Storage more. Scientific still had a good following, but with the sales for this, people clearly like the, des the designs of this a whole lot more. Make sense? So I'm not comparing nut sales numbers. I'm comparing how it started and how it played out because it's very similar. But with this, this is different numbers, true, but we don't have an average number to work with yet. I would say we need to see at least three or four of them out first, then we can start comparing averages, because at the moment, we only have one to compare to, right? And we've got less sales than that, so that's good, isn't it? Right, um, 